In this video, you will create a field that displays a room area within a text object. You will also learn how to add additional formatting information that will alter the units and precision of the reported area value. Fields can display lots of different types of information stored in AutoCAD's drawing database, including any object property. Go ahead and open the Office Plan 3 project file to begin. In order to access room areas, I have already created closed polylines in each room. These are on the area layer. Turn on the area layer to see what I'm talking about. Click right here to select the polyline which defines the shape of reception. Right click and choose properties. You can see right down here that this polyline has an area property which lists its area in square inches by default. We will access this data in a field. Close the properties palette and press Escape to deselect. Zoom in on the room tag. We'll place a field right underneath it. Open the text flyout and choose single line text. You can create fields wherever you have text. Choose the justify option and then choose MC for middle center. Turn on object snap and object snap tracking on the status bar if they're not on already. Hover the cursor over this midpoint and track down vertically and click a point right about here. Accept the default text height of 10 inches and the rotation angle of 0 by pressing enter enter. And then instead of typing, right click and choose Insert Field from this context menu. Here we have a list of fields which are part of AutoCAD's drawing database. Scroll down and select Object. Then click this button to select the object. Click on this polyline right here to get the reception polyline. Right now it lists a value up here in the preview which is the number of square inches in this closed polyline. Now I'd like to display this in square feet instead, so click Additional Format. Here you can input a conversion factor. And let's just think this through. There are 12 inches in a foot, so a square foot would have 12 times 12 inches, which would be 144 inches. So to convert from square inches to square feet, we need to divide 1 over 144. It shows you this number of square feet. However, it doesn't tell you it's square feet. It just gives you a number. Click in the suffix text box and type space capital SF for square feet. Then click OK and OK again. This is a field. It's identified by a gray background color, which doesn't plot. If you want to edit the field, you can double-click on it, and it brings you right back to the field dialog box. Let's say we want to change the precision to have 0, 0.0. OK? And now we have a little bit more precision in the area listed on the drawing. I'll press Enter, Enter to complete the text command. I'll just zoom out, and let's take a look at that. So this is the polyline representing the shape of reception. And right now it says it's 1029.2 square feet. If you notice down here, this polyline encompasses this shell column, and that's not correct. Click this grip and change the way that the arc curves into the inside and snap to perpendicular. And then press Escape. Pan up here, and you'll see that the area remained the same. The reason for that is the drawing needs to be regenerated for the fields to be recalculated. So type REGEN for regen and press Enter. Now we get a new square foot value. 
This is taken right from AutoCAD's drawing database where the object properties are stored. We can turn off the area layer because the object properties still exist, whether or not that particular layer is displayed or not. And we still have an accurate area value for this particular space. So you've learned how to create fields within single line text and how to format the field to display relevant information. You've also seen how a field is automatically updated after drawing regeneration.